Hey, what's up everybody? It's Sam here with your daily business tips video and in this video I wanted to talk to you about how to get in the top 1%. So, what actually prompted this video? Uh, earlier on today I was sitting there kind of thinking about like uh, basketball to be completely honest um, and I was thinking about like how the players, you know, uh, the ones that, that really get to the top of the game, you know, like the odds are so low, right, of becoming a professional athlete and it's something that's talked about all the time. But what most people don't talk about is it's such a low percentage to be in that top 1%, that, that real top tier of anything, right? And the reason being is that people don't necessarily uh, know what it takes and more importantly don't do what it is that they do actually know that it takes to be in that top 1%, right? So what I'm talking about are five key things that you absolutely need to do in order to get to that top 1%, right? And, and so again, I, this was brought on to me by the by you know watching a bit of basketball this morning and realizing that wow the the, the percentages and the odds of really being in that top one percent is really really difficult right and there's a particular reason why these people actually get to that point so the very first thing that I wanted to share with you is that you need to get committed right you need to get committed to what it is that you're actually doing now a lot of people aren't really committed they're just interested in what it is that's going on, right? So like for example, oh, I'm, I'm interested, Sam, in building an online business with you. Sam, I'm interested in having you as a coach. Sam, I'm interested in doing what it is that it actually takes, but they're not fully committed, right? There's a huge difference. Commitment is something more along the lines of, Sam, I'm gonna do business with you. How do I join? What do I do, right? Those are the kind of things, that that's a difference. You can see there's a different tonality and a different level of um, commitment, right? Obviously, in being committed, over being just remotely like uh, interested in what it is that somebody's doing. Hey Jimbo, uh, thanks for being on buddy, nice to see you. Um, so, <clears throat> and so tip number two, and how to be in the top 1% is to start consuming. Now a lot of people when they, when they move past the interest point, right, they don't actually consume any information that's of any value in terms of what it is that they're, they're actually doing now. Now obviously consumption isn't the only thing, right, but it is one of the five points. You need to consume right more information about what it is that you do so that you can start climbing to the top there's a reason why readers are leaders the reason being is that they're actually willing to consume information that's related to what it is they're actually doing right i mean you talk about uh oprah winfrey oprah winfrey once said the difference between you now and and where you are in five years from now uh is uh, the books that you read so i'm going to kind of tailor that a little bit for this video the difference from where you, from where you are now is what you study between now and five years from then, yeah? So you need to get consuming so that you've got the information so that when people turn to you for answers, you can actually answer questions instead of just trying to sell them some bullshit products, right? Step number three is to get invested. At the end of the day, this is business and you need to be a product of the product, right? No one's gonna listen to you if you're saying, hey look, you should invest in this $5,000 program and you've only spent $50 on the entry level program, right? It's, it's hypocritical and it's gonna come off that way and nobody is gonna listen to you in that sort of way. You need to be a product of the product, right? Like when I talk to people who are personal trainers all the time, I'm like, well, you need to get in better shape, right? You need to be healthier, right? You need to drink less, you need to eat less shit. And the reason being is that because how can you sell a health and fitness program, right? To people by getting them to sign up to your personal training if you're fat and out of shape and unhealthy and always sick and partying every fucking weekend, okay? So you need to be a product of the product. You need to get invested in what it is that you're doing, right? So if you're gonna promote a business, you need to be invested as far as you're willing to tell people to get invested, all right? Step number four is you really need to start applying and this is where the rubber really starts meeting the road, right? Because the, the first three steps are really just when you kind of rebuild, you're building your momentum. But number four is you really need to apply yourself. You need to, getting getting committed and consuming information and getting invested in the products in which you're involved in is just the beginning, right? right? That's kind of like the first phase, if you will. The second phase is, <clears throat> is the application of everything, right? Applying the product in which you're involved in, you know, apply the knowledge in which you're gaining from everything that you're consuming. Apply the knowledge that you're gaining from being the committed person that you actually are. You need to apply, right? So action is super, super important. And I know this for a fact because I'm not here a, a product of preaching, right? I'm here as a product of taking action. I study on a daily basis. I recommit myself on a daily basis through my rituals. Uh, that's my consumption. And I get invested every single day by sitting down, going through different study programs, 
putting my time and effort into live videos, into emails, and so on and so forth, right? <clears throat> and I take action on a daily basis, and I know that's the difference from where I was. For the longest time, I wouldn't be taking action. I'd consume a ridiculous amount of information. Like I would, I would go through like you know 10, 10 hour courses or twenty hour conferences or thirty hour seminars. Like I'm not shitting you. I would go through these inf these things, but then I wouldn't even write a single blog post. Right now. I'll, I'll sit down, I'll, I'll go through like, for example, I'll go through like 30 minutes of information and then I'll write like a 1500 word blog post from it. That's the difference from, from where I am now, is the application of the knowledge I was gaining, right, into this particular market. And that's, kind, that's what's taken me to the next level of this game, right? I'm not just sitting here talking all the time, I'm not just sitting here consuming information all the time. I'm actually applying what it is that I'm learning and, and more importantly, I'm teaching it, right? So. Step number five to be in the of, of how to be in the top five percent, top one percent. Sorry, is you need to keep going. You absolutely have to keep going. You have to have the mindset that I'm going to keep going until dot dot dot. What's that until? That until is the mindset that you're going to keep going until you succeed. You're going to keep going no matter what until you're successful at what it is that you're trying to do. So many people fall short of their dreams because they don't quite go the entire way that should be going, right? And one thing that my mentors always told me is like, man, you don't realize how, how close you are, you know, to your million dollar, to your to your six figure payday. You don't know how close you are to 500K. You don't know how close you are to a million. And of course I don't know because I haven't actually been there, but he knows because he's been there and he's forever telling me, you know, just keep going, just keep going, just keep going. And I believe him 100%, right? I believe in myself and the work in which I'm putting in. And that's the point you need to get to. You need to be applying these five tips Right, you need to be getting to the point where you just keep going no matter what, irrespective of what happens. You're just going to keep going until you succeed. Because it's that mindset, it's that level of commitment, it's being that invested in what it is that you're doing, it's that level of application. Right? I just gave you the five points in like a 20 second nutshell there. It's that level of commitment and you just continuing to keep going, you keep going, you keep going until you're successful, right? That's what's actually gonna get you there. That's what's going to really separate you from everybody else who's interested, from people who are like, yeah, you know what, I, I really want to do this, but, you know, like, I've, you know, I've got a date night tonight, I've, I've got a, and, and don't get me wrong, guys, like, I spend time with my kids every single afternoon and night, right? I go out and play basketball three, four times a week. I go to the gym, you know, three, four times a week. I spend time with my fiance. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying you need to be 24-7 about this life. What I'm trying to say is that when you're investing that specific time, give all of your energy, your effort, your focus, apply these five things to what it is that you're doing and you keep going until you get to that point where you achieve everything that it is that you want to achieve, all right? So in a quick nutshell again, in a quick, uh, just summarizing very quickly for you, get committed, start consuming, uh, get invested, start applying, i.e. taking action, and keep going until you hit the level of success that you truly, truly want, all right? So look, I hope you enjoyed this video, the five tips on how to get to the top 1%. I assure you, if you follow those five things, you will absolutely get to the top 1%. And let's understand one thing, that it is really only the top 1% that really, truly get paid an amazing amount of dollars, right? There's a reason why people at the level of excellence and mastery are the ones that make more money than like 80% of the people combined. Right? It's a, because they've risen to the cream of the crop. They're at the top 1%. They're at the top of their game. That's what they're known for. That's what they do. Right? That's what they're all about. Yeah? And, and uh, that's how you're actually going to attain what it is that you want to do. All right? So thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. Take care. Much love. I'll see you tomorrow in our Business Boost video then. Peace.